we would not have made it through the last two years without the selfless efforts of all of our health care workers. We can't say it enough. So today on the show, we want to give them a huge thank you. And Jake Williams with Healthier Colorado is here to tell us how you all can say thank you. Jake, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I am doing very well. You look sharp this morning. And thank you. yeah, I know that you're super passionate about this cause. So let's start with you telling us about the Colorado Gratitude Project and why Healthier Colorado is spearheading this important cause. Well, I think as we all know, we're not gonna have a neat and tidy end to the pandemic. Right. We're just kind of cautiously stepping out of it step by step. And as we do that, I think we're at risk of missing a moment, a moment to deliver the needed thanks that healthcare workers deserve. And so that's what this project is about. I think you really made a good point there because we're not fully out of it. It's kind of still lingering in everyone's mind, but we do need to stop and say, hey, thank you for getting us through those really tough two years and guess what it's still going on now I know that you have a series of events to thank some of these healthcare workers how is that going and talk to me about it it's so joyful you know we were in Lamar yesterday uh -huh. and you can see you know the thanks that they give back to us just through their eyes uh, we had an event at Clinica Tapiac in Denver uh, July 18th would be down in Colorado Springs we're gonna get to Vail Grand Junction and more and it's really uplifting this the whole experience I've really been thankful for just on a personal level just to mm -hmm. be able to deliver thanks um, is really something that is positive for everybody's mental health. Yeah, it really is. And I, I, going back to those crucial two years when we were all terrified of going anywhere, these were the healthcare workers that were going to work every single day, no matter the risk, to do what needed to be done. Now, what is the goal of the Colorado Gratitude Project? Where do you want to go with this? Well, first, healthcare workers need to hear from us. They need to yeah. feel and hear this gratitude, both because it's the right thing to do, but also because we need them. The pandemic yeah. might be over or almost over, but we still have a shortage in this state of healthcare workers, and they need to know that we appreciate them and we need them going forward. Yes, and you know, Jake, I think a lot of people would love to say thank you, and perhaps they may have the question, how do we do it? So where can people go to be able to express how great Grateful they are. ColoradoGratitude.com. Okay. Again, take it from me. You'll feel good when you do it. I have a chance <laughs> to say it, you know, directly to healthcare workers, but yeah. you can do the next best thing by going to ColoradoGratitude.com and giving your own message of thanks. Perfect. So when you go to ColoradoGratitude.com, what is that process like of somebody leaving a note or what do they do? There's a space there where you can type in whatever comes from your heart. Okay. And then that is going to be shared with healthcare workers, both uh, in the literal form, and also we're using it as inspiration for a mural that we'll be commissioning in September oh, wow. in Denver. So everybody can come check that out yes. when, it's, uh, when it's up and ready. And I'm sure so many people want to be a part of that. I think that is so neat. Well, why do you think, Jake, healthcare workers are so important to our everyday life? Our lives depend on it. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs health care and therefore everybody needs health care workers. And during the pandemic at first, I think you remember a lot of people expressed appreciations. Remember banging those pots and pans, yes, et cetera. Yes, I do remember that, those videos all over the web. That went away. And unfortunately, okay. there was some negativity in there um, as well uh, that healthcare workers felt. And so now it's time to have it swing back to positivity to give them the gratitude they deserve. And I could see that it is important for you on a personal note as well. Would that be true? Absolutely. Yeah, I could see that. Well, Jake, thank you so much for bringing this on the show today. And we are absolutely grateful, not just for the work that you do, but for those healthcare workers that are still dealing with COVID even today. So thanks again for being with us. And if you you would like to show your gratitude for our healthcare workers by taking part in Healthier Colorado's Gratitude Project. Well, you can learn more and leave your message online. That website is coloradogratitude.com. Thanks for all you do to all of our healthcare workers.